Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some Skull Splitter trolls for their fetishes, and we got level 43. We also ranked up one more rank into Malice, which increased our critical strike chance. And today, we will be heading back to the Swamp of Soros. That is going to be the plan. We are going to face our fears. We are going to head over to the shore. So I guess we'll head over to Nethergard Keep. Most likely our closest destination to where we are going. It's raining pretty hard here in Stranglethorn Vale. Happy we're not questing here today. You can really hear the rain coming down. Today is another Tuesday, which is a WoW update day, so I gotta watch out for that. Sometimes they have the, the countdown to the updates, but I didn't get any messages for that. What I mean by the countdown is when they update the servers, usually you get kicked off, so I don't really want that to happen. I'm on a hardcore character here, but there wasn't any warnings about that, so I think I'm alright. And I don't think they have updated the TPC servers to pre-patch for Wrath of Lich King. I think that's going to happen a little later on, probably in September. Oh my gosh, we're going by Crumgall Base Camp here. It's kind of dangerous. But yeah, today we are going to be doing two quests. We're going to be doing Driftwood. I owe you greatly 007, an honorable heart beats within you, and now I have another task for which I humbly ask your aid. If I'm ever going to reach Netherguard, then I must fix this wagon. For that, I will need wood, strong dry wood, not the spongy, tangled wood of the swamp's trees. 007, go east to the coast and search for driftwood that has been dried by the sun. Bring it to me. And we will be doing and bugs. Another component of my new recipe is the shelled leg of a giant crab and the crabs that they have in dust swallow muck shells they call them just won't do i'm afraid the only suitable crabs live far away in swab of sorrows the shell of the crab's leg is a key element to the dishes presentation so i need pristine unscarred legs an adult crab might only have one or two such legs and i need a lot in order to research my dish so 007 are you willing to travel well, we are traveling today, guys. And I think we have... Yeah, our bag space is pretty good. So we don't have to really worry about that. And yeah, supposedly there's going to be a Wrath of the Lich King Hardcore. They haven't picked a server yet, but that sounds a little interesting to me. Maybe I'd hop in on that. But I don't think they would have uh, the Soul of Iron this time. Which uh, kind of sucks. I kind of like having this. It makes... Uh, kind of makes your hardcore run legit. You know what I mean? When this logo's up here. It shows that you haven't died. I kind of wish they put that on all servers. Maybe, they, maybe it is in all servers. But I think it's only in SOM. Pretty sure. It would be interesting to go from 1 all the way to 80 hardcore. That'd be pretty wild. It's a lot of leveling, guys. But I, I would assume it's probably the same as going from 1 to 60, because they do squish the XP down by quite a bit. So, I think um, it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, we're flying into Netherguard Keep. Never noticed the lightning with this, like, coming down. Oh, wow. Got a necropolis right here. 
Don't want to get anywhere close to that. <laughs> it's pretty scary. I assume the monsters come from there are pretty high level because the stone is like 50 plus, I think. We will try to avoid that necropolis. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with this uh, this rogue. We could either bring him over to the classic era servers, or we can bring him over to uh, the Wrath of the Lich King server. My alliance Wrath of the Lich King server is Grobulus, so that is where I might bring 007. That would give me a decent amount of characters over there. I'd have a shaman, a rogue, and a hunter. But only level 60, no max levels. But the Shaman should hit 70 in a, in a couple of months. It's going to take some time. It's getting pretty close to 60. He's only 57 at the moment. Alright, so we're getting out of the Blasted Lands here. And it's going to be a little bit scary moving over here. We're going to try to uh, avoid the orcs, the green dragon flight, and pretty much everything we can avoid. There's also murlocs there. It's going to be quite the challenge, but the good thing is we're not trying to fight murlocs. We're just trying to stay away from them. Really, all we're trying to do is fight against crabs. Shouldn't be that bad. Thing is, I think we'll. Oh, there's this guy. The fallen hero of the horde. Interesting how he's not uh, considered hostile to the Alliance. The horde get much more quests in this zone, that's for sure. I think these will be the final two quests that we have in this area, so. It's going to be interesting to see. Where we go next after this. And I'm pretty sure those these are the final two. Because we did everything for the follow, the follow Sanctuary. And for the Drain Eye Exiles. Another thing we could do if we wanted to hang out here a little longer is we could play these spiders because they do give us the the meat that we need to get uh, more food. We're not really in a rush for food at the moment, so I think we're okay. Alright, so let's make our way around here. I don't think we'll follow the road. But we will try to get as much blind weed and uh, back our whiskers as we can. We're almost at 285, and once we hit 285, it's pretty much herb every single herb in classic. Maybe other than. Uh, Black Lotus. We're going to have a lot of Cadgar's Whiskers, that's for sure. Fade leaf here. I guess we'll pick that up. We'll fight this. I can't do that. Spider here. Maybe we'll get some meat. We really have to be careful once we get too close to the shore. Eh, we got some meat from him. That's pretty good. Hey, maybe we should uh, have an episode where we just, you know, farm spider meat. Won't be today, though. I'm gonna try to get these quests done. Alright, so 
we got our sprint back up soon. Not sure if it's a good idea to sprint through here, though. There's Naboru the Cudgel. Do we fight this guy? I wonder if we can completely wreck him without... Without using any of our pots. We could try. Here, we could just try. Use everything we got. Yeah. We're gonna get completely wrecked. Here's the other low one. Here he is. Oh, he's gonna run. Come here, dude. Yeah, this guy's full health, so. Heal up here. I don't know where. I forgot where Naboru is, though. We didn't. We didn't finish him off there. Where did we finish him off? There he is. Now, I remember there's a quest for him. I'm wondering if I get a quest from killing him. Oh, okay, we have Naboru's Cudgel. Maybe that's a horde only quest. We'll hold on to his Cudgel, though. It's proof that you killed him. But I think you probably get it at this, the Harborage, but we didn't have any extra quests there, I'm pretty sure, so. I don't know, we'll hold on to it. Maybe we'll go back there eventually and, and turn it in. Yeah, we gotta wait on a lot of cooldowns here. We got our Adrenaline Rush, our Cold Basilisk guy, Blade Flurry, and our Health Pot all on cooldown. Be a good idea to uh, make some greater healing pots. But I do plan on upgrading our alchemy. I think we might do that soon as well. It's going to be worth going on the trip, especially once we hit 225. A lot to do. And it's worth upgrading the alchemy because eventually we should be able to get our level high enough to where we can get the, the major health bots. And that'll heal us for a lot. It'll take us a while to get there. But we are going to be crafting a lot of superior health bots because of all of the Cadgar's whiskers we're getting. It's nice that we're able to just run around this place without pulling much. Not sure what we're going to do with all this blind weed. Hopefully there's a, a, a potion we can craft. That uses it. Don't really need that king's blood. Keep on rolling through here though. Okay, we gotta chill. Alright, so they're not elites. I was I thought they might have been. But one thing that, that that's for sure is there is an elite green dragon that's flying around, I think to the south. Kinda want to avoid those guys. Best we can. And here we are at the pool of tears. This is uh the Temple of Italicar, which is a dungeon called Sunken, some people call it Sunken Temple. These guys are all around my level, so we kind of got to watch out here. Might be a good idea to start, you know, get our stuff ready. Starting to get into the dangerous area. 
up the swamp. I think if I just hang around the shoreline here, I should be pretty safe. Yeah, as you can see, guys, coming around here like level 40, it's pretty damn dangerous. Yeah, the bug cave in Ungoro Crater, really tough. Not sure if I will be uh, messing around in that cave. Died there multiple times, especially to the queen, the Garishi Hive Queen. We'll get some more blind weed over there. We'll go pick that up. Tangled horns coming by though. And then we got these Death Strike tarantulas. I wonder if they drop the, the white spider mage as well. Alright, we'll do a little sprint here. Just to get us over to the swamp. All of our cooldowns are back, which is nice. And then right over to our left here is a... is a horde camp. A small horde camp. They're struggling quite a bit. Getting beat up by the murlocs. Probably by the green dragonflight too. And here we are, and there's the crabs we want to fight. Okay, so we're in the right spot. It's time for us to uh, get some potions ready. Inventory is full. Inventory is full. What the heck already? And we'll get rid of this. I want to keep Naboro's cudgel as long as I can. Not sure where the the other one went. Okay, there it is. Put these up. And we're running low on poison, so that's fine. I think we can craft more. Yeah, we should be all right. Okay. But here we go. Oh, yeah, we got to eat. Have a bite to eat. And then we'll start fighting these crabs. There's another one right there. Alright, let's get to work on these crabs. We'll keep an eye out for some wood on the ground. And we'll try to stay away from these murlocs. Come on, man. Probably gonna have to fight a couple of the ones that are around here. We also have to watch our backs um, around the, the horde camp. we got a crawler leg, so that's good. Big mouth clam there. Some zesty meat. Don't really want any of that. Don't want any of the sand either. Get rid of this fang too. Yeah, we can't be running back over here, so... Gotta just fight him where we stand. And that's some sun-dried driftwood right there. Yeah, I probably could have came here earlier. I'm kind of... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> kind of making this place seem scarier than it is. Since we don't have to fight the murlocs, it's not too bad. But it isn't a great place to be, I'm telling you guys. Like, that horde camp there really sucks. It's got another one here. This drop rate seems to be really good. Got some strangle kelp out in the water that I'm very tempted to go get. Because we do need it for our agility elixirs. But I may go out there. I might have to fight a couple murlocs along the way. And the, the legs drop uh, pretty damn quick. They're not quick, but they drop often, I should say. 
Okay, so here we are. There's a, some strangle cup out in the water here. And we are going to want to get it. No. Fight some murlocs. This guy's an ink spewer. And from what I remember, these guys uh, spew ink on you and it lowers your hit chance. It's pretty rough. This will use uh, a bandage here. I'll probably make some more silk bandages. So why not? It'll open up a slot for us. Okay, we're lagging again. Another thing about the water we gotta watch out for is uh, sometimes the game glitches out in the water, supposedly. So, gotta make sure we, we watch out for that. Got some more driftwood here, that's good. Junk there. We don't need the scales. We don't need the seaweed either. Alright, so let's see what we got out here. We got a marsh fish eater, a flesh eater. Could just creep around the water here. Okay, it's getting, this is super dangerous. Now the question is, can we loot this without pulling anything? I'll give it a try. Yeah, vanish. Here we go. I can't do that yet. Come on, Not yeah, you can. Yet. Oh shit. Okay. There goes our vanish. We got the we got the the crap with the strand. That was sucked. That really sucked. Why couldn't I van- why couldn't I unstell? Like, I don't know, it takes so long. So now we don't have Vanish for like, five minutes. We got that Strangle Kelp. This is worth it. I think it was worth it. But whatever. We'll see what- we'll see what happens. Later on. Got a slick collar down here. In the water. And some more Strangle Kelp. That I'm going to be tempted to get. But yeah, that could have been death right there. No vanish. That's pretty much dead. You're dead. I need to get closer. And what we're doing here is pretty dangerous too. So I'm going to try to run out of here. Yeah, you can die here easily. That's why I was scared of this place. Because it's because of these murlocs. They really suck. Alright, well, we're almost done with the, the crawler legs, which is good. Guess we'll use a bandage quick. But I could have survived that, potentially. Like, I have all my cooldowns. I could have just, you know, dealt with two of them pretty damn fast. Really gotta watch out here, though. It's not very safe. But I'm not going to say no to strangle kelp. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Back down we go. Another uh, monstrous crawler. I don't think we really want to deal with those guys. Let's just deal with... Stick with the slit ones. There's two here. This is a great spot for strangle kelp. Alright, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Alright, swim back. That was a good amount of strangle kelp there. He's got six. Gets us a solid six hours of 15 agility.
I think the loudest too, you know. Yeah, there's some driftwood here. Nice. Halfway on the driftwood now. As we move up too, we're most likely going to get close. I don't know. We're going to be fighting. Yeah, Jark was there. Like level 46. Yeah, we'll probably go back. I'm not going up there. It's crazy how all up here is like high level Murlocs. Thing is, we might have to go up there if there's no driftwood. Thing is, we need four more driftwood. There might be some in the south. There's some strangled kelp back there again. We're not going. Not this time. We'll try again, though. We'll try when we come back, if we come back this way. The thing is, I'm not diving in there without Vanish. We got some more driftwood here. Nice. Seems to be spawning back pretty quick. Alright, we got another slick collar here. I think we'll be okay fighting this marsh murloc. It's the driftwood right there. Got a couple of crabs over here. Gotta make sure he doesn't run into anybody. We gotta watch our backs. We could run into some orcs. Some driftwood here we can get. Not sure if we can get it without fighting a murloc here. Let's stop him in his tracks. Pull him back. what it is. Well, now he's running, damn it. Whatever. There's a trick in here on him. So I'm down a bit. Yeah, Murlocs are a headache. Okay, get rid of this. Open this up. The reason why I keep opening these up is there's a good chance you can get a golden pearl and they're worth a lot. I wonder how much they're worth on a vendor though. Like for on the auction house they're worth a lot, but to vendor them it's probably pretty cheap. Probably like a gold or two. Alright, so we got six of these driftwoods. We only there's one over there. And the rest will just be the slick crawlers. Probably a good idea to clear out some of these murlocs though. Just him. Disarm him. I know this guy even had a weapon. Go back a little bit more. And we got a debuff on us. Chance to hit reduced by 50%. That was the... This is really bad. This looked like I'm not even hitting him. I should just CC him during that. 
Got him. Okay, my stun missed. Oil there, we don't really need that either. All right, well, hmm, I don't know. It's too far away. Stay away from the Murlocs. That's all I know. We got Vanish back, so that's good. And we only need one more Driftwood. We gotta find a couple more crabs here. Maybe we'll go for the... For that strangle kelp. Okay. Almost got our evasion back in our old basil sky. There we go, we blocked this disarm. There's our final driftwood right over there, so that's good. So yeah, I recommend staying in the southern part. If you're gonna do this quest. If you go north, you probably need to be like 45 plus. The southern part's not bad if you're like 42, 43. Alright, so we want to get this, uh... This thing over here. Tell him to stay over there. Interested to see if I can pull this guy. Okay, we pulled him. It's an ink spear, so we don't want him to cast his ink on us. I'm having trouble finding these crawlers now. Next guy we'll fight is probably this Murloc here. It's Flesh Eater. Seems to be one under there. So, oh damn, I wish I caught him there, but he kind of got away. I wonder if we can just pull it without pulling anything. That's not going to be the case. Yeah, I probably need to go back up here. One thing we can do is we can turn him around like this. Not sure if there's another one in there, but we'll see. There is one in that little turtle. Or that dead turtle. It's like one of the turtles from Mr. Pandaria. It's probably where these turtles are from, actually. Because uh, supposedly Pandaria is just a giant turtle shell. What I've heard. I don't know if that's true, though. Alright, so we're going to go back down here. And we're going to actually try this time to get it. Hopefully we don't pull anything. One stealth for a bit. We should be good. There we go. Three strangle kelp just like that. Now we just need to find crawlers. It's need to be kind of tough to find. The good thing is we only need... We only need, uh, nine. I mean, three more. Kick that. Okay, didn't get the kick off. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna blind him here. Because I don't feel like taking a bunch of damage. By the time the blind's off, we'll be able to hit him. Ink sprays down. It's not worth getting hit by him. You barely hit him. When that's up. Some more driftwood here. 
We got some more strangled kelp out in the water. We'll go get that. Great day for herbalism, that's for sure. We got a lot of herbs leveled up to over 280. And we also... Got a lot of strangle kill. Make sure nothing's around us here. Could be some crabs down here though, but I don't see any. Oh, we got some elemental water. There's a crab right there, a monstrous crawler, and there's a slick crawler right down there. Perfect. So we'll go down here, we'll deal with this guy. Should get it. At least one leg from him. Seems like there's another one in the water there. Get out of the water, though. Not safe. Are you even hitting him? Alright, so we need one more. We need one more. Ain't nothing in there. Let's get rid of that. We'll heal up just to be safe. I swear I seen one down here. There he is. Ah! What the heck? We're just going all out. So slow. I think he's an ink spear too. Yeah, he's an ink spear. We gotta finish him off before he inks us. I don't know how we pulled that, but we did. This guy doesn't have anything? Oh, man. Oh, we got the leg. Nice. We're done. We got all of our legs. Let's creep up here. Hopefully we don't run into any orcs. And we're done the quest, guys. Guess we'll, uh... Take a pick right here. I think that's a nice view of good old uh, kinda wanna get the turtle there. Whatever, I don't know, it's kinda tough. Sun's going down. Look at the sun's coming up, actually. Okay, well, well, let's go. It is nine, so it should be the sun coming up. All right, so we survived. And there's that dragon I was talking about, Somnus. Gotta stay away from him. It's too far away. Gonna put a skull on him. Yeah, I'm happy we survived that. Now we can get out of here. We'll most likely never come back here again, unless... We need strangle kelp, because there's clearly a lot of strangle kelp on that shoreline. Got a cat guard's whisker over here we'll try to get. Now we just need to deliver these quests. Thing is, one of them is all the way in Theramore Isle. It's just going to take us a while. But we'll eventually get there. Not sure if it's a good time to sprint. Kind of going to save it for now. Some blind weed over here, supposedly. Kind of dangerous. I think we're okay. Got 283 herbalism, not bad. Guess we'll just go along the shore like we did last time. But yeah, we almost died there. Trying to get that strangle kelp. Oh, we're staying alive, guys. 
Not sure what we'll do next. Maybe we'll try to get a stack of that uh, white spider meat. That might be our next uh, our next move. All right, let's go for a sprint here. Not sure if this is a good idea, but give it a try. What's that back there? King's blood. We'll let it sit. Here's somebody. There's your, your guy mining over there. Sounds like this guy's gotta be, uh... Might have to fight this guy for this. I kinda wanna get that gold point, too. anymore. Hopefully we can get this blind refill. There's gold thorn over here. There's also a murloc cave around here. Pretty dangerous cave. Can you hear that? I think the murlocs are doing that's some sound of the murlocs mining maybe. Alright, so we don't want to get too close to... I forgot the name of this place. The Horde Camp, I guess you can call it. We did it, guys. It's good. I'm happy we, we're not going back there. Kind of worried that we'd die today. But we got away. And it was worth doing. Because it, it is really out of the way. Like, if I ever had to come back to do this quest, it would take a, it's a really long trip. A yeah, stone art, that's what this place is called. Looks like we've unlocked uh, pretty much all of the map, except for down here. So I guess we'll head back, and uh, we'll have a chat here. Morgan Stern. Well, not Morgan Stern, uh, this other guy. In his name. Yeah, watch your bakes. Just gotta find him. He's just down here. Yeah, we're safe now. We are safe. And a lot of blind weed, though. I think we're, yeah, we're 285 now, so pretty much pick any herb we want. If we stay here, we probably hit 300. <laughs> Just can't say no to this blind weed. The inventory is full. We'll get rid of this fine sand. We gotta start heading a little south here. And then with this wood that we're given, Watcher Big could be able to help him get over to Nevergard Keep. Just over here. There he is, Watcher Biggs. Did you find any driftwood, 007? This wood is light and but tough. Thank you, 007. It will work nicely. Well, I fixed this wagon, 007. I have one last task for you. 
I have packed the most vital supplies saved from the ochre tax. Take them to Nethergar Keep. The keep is nestled in the northern hills of the Blasted Lands. Keep keeping watch over the dark portal. To reach Nethergard, follow the road east. When it branches, head south into the Blasted Lands. Then turn left at the next fork. Follow the road 007 and be wary. Alright, so we have the shipment to Nethergard. So I guess we'll head over to Nethergard Keep. Why not? I'm thinking next episode we'll most likely do a little bit of spider farming. I think that'll be the plan. Try to get as much white spider meat as we can. We are running a little bit low on the heavy kodo stew. So it would be nice to get uh, some extra white spider meat. Currently we only have five. I think another 20 plus would be nice. But our bags are, are full right now, so we got to sell some stuff too. And I'll probably want to head back to Stormwind soon. Because... I think we need to. Because I want to get the alchemy... I want to upgrade our alchemy. I think we actually can't even do it that, do that in Stormwind. We actually tried to upgrade it. They don't really have good alchemists there. So I guess we'll have to either try Ironforge or Darnassus. I hope it's not Darnassus, but I hope we don't have to go all the way to Darnassus. It's pretty damn far. <laughs> but it would be worth it because we do want to level up our alchemy. I think we'll get some good use out of it in our 50s. I just don't know who do we turn this into. They deliver the shipment. Quartermaster Lungertz in the Netherguard Keep. Okay, well, this is a keep here. Looks like this. Looks like he's it's inside. Okay. Doesn't look like he's in a keep. Looks like he's at a stable. Well, this is a keep. This is the keep. Okay, never mind. Alright, you have business with me? What? A package from Biggs Caravan? We thought it and he were lost. Thank you, 007. With luck, these supplies will carry the much-needed reagent Azoran crystals. Our stock is running low. For the Alliance. Alright, guys. Well, I think we will be calling the episode here next episode we will most likely I think we'll probably just go slay some spiders just to have a chill episode and hopefully we get enough spider meat so we don't really have to worry about food for a while sell this junk that we got we're gonna hold on to Nemoro's cudgel oh this item begins a quest let's check that out I didn't know that Nemoro has plagued the drain eye of the Harbridge for months, and his cudgel is a symbol of brutality they have suffered at the hands of the Lost Ones. Bring Nemoro's cudgel to the leader of the Harbridge, Swampasaurus. So we'll bring that over to him. Clearly, um, it's a quest that we probably won't get anything for. Oh, actually we will. It's green. Alright, so that's something we'll do next episode. We'll turn that in. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.